I just want to thank all 10 subscribers. We met, we passed the 10 subscriber mark and you know, we're well on to, you know, making almost seven cents now. So I feel pretty good about it. And really the progress the channel has made. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some, I, I'm going to call them road trip pro tips. So road trip pro tip number one. And again, I feel like I'm an expert in this. We travel a lot. I mean, almost once a year. So we're pretty, we're pretty busy with our traveling. And, um, you know, we've driven all the way to like California, which is far is as far as you can go without, you know, taking a boat and, and driving a boat is different, but that's, that's a different thing. Um, anyway, so, you know, the first pro tip would be, you know, just always stay in the fast lane. Um, you know, the leftmost lane, it's just more predictable that way. If you switch back and forth, uh, you, you'll scare other drivers, but you also want to make sure that you stay at least 10 miles an hour under what the sign says. Um, cops will pull you over for anything, anything over 10 miles an hour under. Uh, so you want to just, you want to just be cognizant of that and, and make sure that you know you're being safe but you're always you're always in the left lane and being very predictable in, in how you drive um you know and if someone's going to pass you on the right it's important to let them know that you understand that you're passing <laughs> i have to edit that out <laughs> it's, it's, it's sometimes hard <laughs> it's such ridiculous stuff when someone's passing you on the right it's a, it's important to let them know that you see that they're passing. So you just you just blinker to the right to let them know that you know that they're passing. So just make sure you blinker to the right as they're passing you. Yeah, road road trip pro tip um, B. So, you know, you wanna make sure that other drivers are aware of your presence. So, and this goes especially at night. I, I found that it's difficult to see other cars and what they're doing. So you always want to drive with your brights on um, and try and, I, I feel that it helps mimic not only the sun, you can see better, but other people can see you better, especially oncoming traffic. They, they know not to cut over into your lane. Um, and, you know, I found that a lot of people thank me with that, you know, by flashing their brights back, which I think is a little irresponsible that they're not driving with them on. Um, but, you know, everyone, is in their own stage of learning on driving. Since, you know, there's a lot of insurance fraud and everything out there these days, it's really important to document uh, your trip. That's why I like to, you know, snap my whole drive. Um, Snapchat even has, I don't understand how to really make it work. But as you can see there, it has your speed. Uh, so if you snap and you drive, you can prove, you know, if you get pulled over, no, I was only going, you know, 65 miles an hour in an 80 and, and prove that you were, you're being responsible. Not only that, you know, if you hit someone, you can prove that it was them that cut you off or, you know, that they didn't blinker enough. So snapping while driving is a really important thing, not only for safety, but, you know, just for it's good for documenting your trip and also also just for liability reasons. It's really good. Road trip pro tip uh, number three. Well, you want to leave the roof open, the sunroof open if you have one. And I closed it just so you could hear me. But if you put, you know, clothes and stuff out there to dry. So you always want to leave the sunroof open. I found that it's a good way to multitask because a lot of times when you're traveling, you don't have time to like dry your clothes and do all that. So if you roll down your windows and have the sun roof open, you can, you know, and he likes this tip obviously, but you can hang the stuff out of the sides and, and dry it off as you go. I find that uh, you can save a lot of time on, on prep, you know, in laundry when you get home because who likes doing laundry when you get home? Also when you're driving, you know, when there's not a lot of traffic around you, it's important to drive like in between the lanes. That helps make sure that you stay well centered in the road. And 
you know, when traffic's coming up, they have they have a better opportunity of making sure that you're there and, and seeing you. So, you know, make sure that you keep your car, like, your left tire and your right tire just the same distance, equidistant would be a better word. Both of the solid yellow lines, I find, and again, you know, I, I've, I found that other drivers appreciate it. You know, they honk, they wave, they flash their brights. Um, and I think that, you know, that's just good road etiquette. Road trip pro tip number five is you always want to leave during rush hour traffic. Uh, you know, I love to cycle. A, a, a big concept of cycling is drafting. That's where you get right up behind another person and, and you use their slipstream to increase your efficiency. And, and that same concept's true for uh, travel. So if you leave during rush hour, you know, everyone is so close together that you really get better fuel efficiency. And because it is rush hour and everyone's hurrying, the, you know, I haven't, sometimes it's not this way, but I find that, you know, that, that at least ideally everyone's rushing and you, you go a lot faster when everyone's on the road. Uh, so always make sure that you leave, you know, during like peak rush hour and it, cause not, you'll not only save time, but you'll save fuel road trip pro tip number five, you know, you don't want to be distracted while you drive, but at the same time, you don't want to be like dazing off and falling asleep and being inattentive. So I find that, you know, a lot of places they don't let you use your cell phone while you drive. So you want to make sure that you at least have a pen and paper. And I like to do Sudoku while I drive or crossword puzzles. Um, I feel like that helps keep me awake a little bit better, you know, a little bit more attentive. Uh, so I can be sure that, you know, I'm not dozing off. Pro road trip pro tip. Uh, I think we're on E now. Only if I was out, you know, on the highway by myself all the time. I, I think it's important to get really close to them when you pass them. I think that they feel closer to other people and the fact that they're being noticed. And then also just wave really aggressively and let them know that you appreciate what they're doing because it's hard. They have to deal with a lot of scary people and, and bad drivers and stuff. So, you know, make sure you get really close to them and let them know that you see them there. Have a passenger, okay? have them lean out the window and, you know, use both arms and, and really wave to the officer showing your appreciation. Another road trip tip when filling up with gas, although I didn't do it here just so I could easily demonstrate. Let me flip this around. When you fill up with gas, always pull to a pump that's on the opposite side and uh, stretch the hose around to the, other, to the other side. And I just put it over here, obviously, for ease of demonstrating. But because the, the nozzle that meters it up, is up here, that extra length and stretch of hose from there to your car, I guess over there. So a couple of last driving tips, or pro road trips, I guess. Um, I think we're on number four now. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, when you fill up, be careful what gas you choose. Uh, obviously, you want to know what your car uses, you know, premium or or just regular unleaded. But um, don't make the same mistakes I've done where you put the green in. It doesn't actually make your car more efficient um, or more eco-friendly. Um, it, it can be expensive to repair. But uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you know what your car uses. And, and green, again, does not mean eco-friendly. Uh, the second thing would be, you know, always have a good pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses. I wear these eyeglasses. Uh, I always get the strongest prescription I can to see a long ways and, and see farther. Um, I found that, well, I learned the hard way that it's actually illegal to drive with binoculars. Yeah, I got a ticket for it. I guess, you know, he said it made it so I didn't have peripheral vision, which I think is odd because you can see so much farther with them. But... Yeah, so don't do that, but I always get the strongest prescription. 
And you know, again, like when you travel, it's a lot like airline travel. You'll get headaches and stuff, um, just just by means of travel. But always get the strongest prescription you can, so you can see farther. And then have a map. Um, but you know, just like Kelsey and I found out, and and we learn as we go. But that's why these are pro tips because you've learned through experience, and I don't want you to have to go through. It. But make sure, you know, it matters if if you get a map. It it doesn't work everywhere. Um, you need it needs to be for that area. So, you know, we just went down to California and I bought a map, you know, it has I-15 down there, but I guess the I-15 isn't the same one. Make sure the map's actually for the state that you're in. Uh, and then the last one would be, you know, just get sleep before you go. Uh, make sure you're well rested. But I just want to thank all you guys for, for viewing this. And again, you know, we hit 10 subscribers, so I think we're well on our way. Uh, you know, like, share and, and subscribe it if you you know if you think anyone can benefit from these pro tips share it um that way your friends can learn and they don't have to go through the same experiences and, and yeah i really think you'll i think these pro tips and life hacks could help a lot of people so um thanks again and we'll see you later